Hi, I'm Murdo from Rosine. This is Paint Like a Pro. Today, I'm going to show you how to cut in. Cutting in is one of the most crucial parts of the painting process. So what is it? Cutting in is going around the edges of your painting project, for example, the top of ceilings, above a skirting board, or around door frames. The first step is to make sure you have the right brush. Get the best brush you can afford. There are a few different options, but always buy premium brushes if you can. They make the job easier and give a much better finish. These are great quality brushes made in New Zealand. An oval brush holds plenty of paint and you can get a really smooth finish with very few brush marks. Another option is an angled brush like this one. They are a bit thinner, have a longer handle and can be more comfortable to use for those with smaller hands. Use a paint pot. You only need a small amount at the bottom, around half a litre. Start with a damp brush and dip it into the pot and work it into the bristles. Tap on the side to remove excess paint. Here's a trick for you. Hold the brush above your head and if it drips paint in your hair, you've got too much paint on your brush. Start cutting in from the top and work your way down the edges of doors, around light switches and finishing off with anything low down like skirting boards. Practice and technique is key. You want to aim for long, smooth, even strokes. Make sure you feather the edges. This means brushing the paint out so you get an even texture across the wall, avoiding nasty brush marks. Good luck!